And that was the national news from BGI TV. Baba Bagile Imo TV. I am your street for me. Mori Rerebi Lalawa. First are the major headlines for the national news. Tinumbu support organization not giving 25,000 Naira grants to Nigerians. God is raising a young Nigerian to be president, Bishop Wale Oke. I beg your pardon, the name is Wale Oke. Police recover 200 cows, 70 sheep, motorcycle from Bandit in Katsina. Navy destroys six kidnappers' camps in Cross River. Kidnappers of popular petrol dealer in Edo demand 80 million naira. Courts convict five online fraudsters in Ogun or Shun. And the news in detail. A broadcast message has been circulating on WhatsApp suggesting that a non profit organization in the name of Nigeria former politician Bola Ahmed Tinumbu is giving out the sum of 25,000 naira grants to Nigerians. The message stated that the fund is available to all Nigerians and was increased from 19,000 naira to 25,000 naira. The group, Bola Tinubu Support Organization, BTSO, was said to be doling out the funds with an increase from 19,800 naira to 25,000 naira. Platform Times discovered that a message has been widely shared on WhatsApp asking Nigerians to click on a link. Platform Times observed that the page has a picture of Tinubu who has shown his ambition to contest for the presidential election in 2023. When Platform Times clicked on the link, it was asking for the applicant's name, phone number, address, and email address. The page further gave a three-step instruction to applicants, asking if applicants are students, self-employed or unemployed, married, single, or divorced, business support, scholarship, health care. The page was also requesting applicants to share the link to 15 friends or five groups on WhatsApp to be eligible for the grants. To the next story concerning the 2023 presidential election in Nigeria, the National President of the Pentecostal Fellowship, Fellowship of Nigeria, PFN, Francis Wale Oke, has stated that God is raising a competent young Nigerian to lead the nation out of its current woes. The PFN president said this at the 12th edition of the Independent Newspapers Limited Thanksgiving service on Friday in Lagos. Wale Oke urged leaders and government at all levels to do away with grief. Adding that the days of old generations in government were numbered. God is working to raise a competent president of Nigeria among younger Nigerians to digitalize the nation's economy for the common good, he said. The days of social economic challenges are numbered, with the exit of older generations in government and the advent of younger pragmatic ones into the leadership circuit he had. The police in Katsina State said they rescued over 200 cows, 70 sheep, and seized a motorcycle from terrorists who attacked Nasarawa Bugaje community of, of the state Friday evening. This was disclosed in a statement forwarded to Daily Post by the police public relations officer in the state, SP Gambo Isa. According to SP Gambo, the terrorists who were well armed with sophisticated weapons stormed the community in large number shoot it periodically into the hair and rustle their domestic animals in the process. On receiving the report of the attack, SP Gambo said, the command quickly dispatched police patrol teams to the scene who engaged the hoodlums in a fierce gun duel. He further stated that the recovered 200 rustle cows and 70 sheep was due to the operational strategy and skills adopted by the gallant policemen that made them to overpower the terrorists. Gambo also revealed that many of the Terrorists escaped the scene with gun wounds and abandoned one of their operational motorcycles. The police patrol teams are apparently scanning the scene with a view of arresting the fleeing terrorists and recover their operational weapons, SP Gumbo said. Still on a victorious at, uh, action between the Navy and the Nigerian Navy force, the Nigerian Navy ship Victory NNSV has demolished camps used by different king, kidnapped gangs in Cross River State. The ex-commander Commodore Chi Dozier Okehi made a revolution on Friday during his handover in Kalawa. Okehi said the military units carried out multiple kinet kinetic operations involving several clans of sea robbers and militants. The base destroyed six camps, which led to the release of some kidnapped victims, recovery of weapons, and other valuable items, he confirmed. The senior officer held personnel for achievement recorded in the fight against smuggling and illegal bunkering. Okay, you want criminals operating on what side across the country 
to the east or face the consequences. In late 2021, the NNSV patrol team arrested a wooden boat laden with 1,209 foreign bags of aboard rice worth 36.2 million naira. So another kidnapping story. Few days after he was kidnapped in front of his house in Jatu, it's a West local government area of Edo State. Abductors of popular member and factional chairman of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Hitman Benedepot Al Aji Abdel Amid Ageli, popularly called Baba Petrol, have demanded 80 million naira fee. A source close to the family said yesterday in Auji that the kidnappers contacted the family yesterday morning and demanded 80 million naira before he would be released. And this is the first time they are contacting the family since Monday evening when he was kidnapped in front of his gate after closing from work. The kidnappers came in in vehicles. It will be recalled that the incident happened on Monday evening at about 7 p.m. An eyewitness who pleaded anonymity said that the incident happened when Ego was returning home after the day's business and he was accosted by the gunman. He said the gunman ambushed the Ipman chairman with two vehicles without plate number and fired at his jeep and killed his driver. The Ipman chairman was later taken away after the security attack to him were overpowered by the gunman who enjoyed a security operative, the eyewitness said. The police public relations officer, Ben Lokatons, when contacted yesterday, said the police were yet to get any new information about the kidnap and that the family was not informed the police of any contacts. And to the last story coming from the national news. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has secured the conviction of five internet posters in Ogun and Osho State, respectively. The anti graft agency secured the convictions through its Ivanozono command on Thursday before Justice Nathaniel Ayo Emanuel of the Federal High Court Oshobo Osho State and Justice Oluremi Obutoimbo of the Federal High Court Abelkuta Ogun State. The EFCC disclosed these in a statement on Friday by its spokesperson, Wilson Uwajare titled Five Internet Fosters Convicted in Ogun or Shun. According to the statement, the suspects were convicted after the court established their involvement in internet fraud. The statement listed the convicts to include Suleiman Ayub Damilari, Mujib Lawal Alabi, Tibile Paul Ogunleye, Oshoko Adishola Devi, and Akimomi Emmanuel. The convict pleaded guilty to their separate charges. Gen Justice Nathaniel Ayub Emmanuel convicted and sentenced Oshoko Adishola Devi to five months imprisonment Similarly, Paul Ogunle a four months imprisonment, while Akinomi Emmanuel backed three months jail term. Similarly, Justice Ogunle both convicted and sentenced Moji Lawal Alabi to three months imprisonment, while Suleiman Ayub Daminari backed four months. The convicts are to restitute their victims and forfeit recovered items to the federal government. Meanwhile, the Ilori Zonal Command of the EFCC also arrested eight persons over alleged Involvement in cyber fraud, including cheating by personation and love scam. The suspects are Abdul Rahman Ridwan, David Ayodeji, Gideon Thomas, Yunus Moiz, Yunus Latif, and so on. Before we call it to wrap, let's quickly have the headlines for the national news. Tinubu supports organization not giving 25,000 Nero grants to Nigerians. We also brought to you God is raising a young Nigerian to be president, Bishop Wale Oke. Police recovered 200 cows, 70 sheep, motorcycles from bandits in Katsina. We also brought to you concerning Navy destroys ki six kidnappers' camps in Cross River. Kidnappers of popular patrol leader in Edo demand 80 million naira. And lastly, court convicts five online fosters in Ogun, Oshun. Thank you for watching. For more updates on our YouTube channel, the handle is Babaza Gide Imo TV. Can you subscribe and click on the notification bell for broadcast? On Facebook, Bagide Imo with Alawugi Adibayo. Please like and follow the page. On Instagram, Bagide Imo underscore 22. For other placements of your goods and services and product, coverage of events and function, simply dial the phone number streaming on your screen. Thank you for watching. I am Moriri Rebina Lawa.